Hello there, this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky and today I want to show you how to set up a hyperkey on your Mac. In the previous video I've been showing how to activate hook using the caps lock key to simulate pressing shift, control, option and command keys all at the same time. There are a couple of ways of setting up the caps lock key to do this and I found that the easiest way to do this is to get your hands on the application Carabiner Elements. So when you get to this website, just download it here and get it onto your system. When you've done that, if you need any more information about how to install it, click on Learn More and then go to Installation. Just follow the instructions and you'll soon have this application on your device. You will have to go to the Security and Privacy System settings to click on the Allow button and you're going to have to grant input monitoring to your Carabiner Elements processes. And it's all very simple, so you just click on the button Privacy here unlock the thing and make sure that this carabiner grabber and carabiner observer are both got the blue check mark in there you might have to set up your keyboard layout i don't remember how to do that with mine but i think you might have to do that so again it's all pretty simple to get it started now when you've got that done then we're going to go open up the application carabiner elements and as you can see here i've got a couple of keyboard mappings already set up in the simple modifications i've got the right command key set up so that when i press it it goes to mission control which is fairly handy i suppose and i've also got it set up so that on a application i'm using text i've got it set up so the option gives me a forward delete which i suppose is fairly handy whenever you're working with text and you don't want to mess about moving your cursor around to the other side of something so you can do a forward delete. What we need to do is we need to go to the complex modifications and we need to set up this one here. So let's just remove it and show you how it's done. Add rule and we get a few examples. Unfortunately, the one that we want is the uh, one at the top here and we just click on enable and the job is done. You can get more rules, so if I click on this add rule here and import more rules from the internet, then this brings up this web page here where you can bring down other things that you can do, such as uh, modify keys, for instance. So basically, there are lots of different things you can do with your um, carabiner elements if you want to. But for the moment, all we're interested in is changing the caps lock, so it does command, control, option and shift all at the same time. Now then... There is a possibility that if you don't want to use Carabiner Elements, and I don't know why you wouldn't because it works pretty well and it's free, you could do it with Better Touch Tool. So if you've got Better Touch Tool, then what you can do is, and this only works if you haven't already set it up with Carabiner Elements, is go to this one here and set up the Caps Lock key. So basically you click on this here so that the Caps Lock key will go to, is mapped as a trigger within Better Touch Tool. Then you go to this one here and you set up a action and I say this hyper key will only connect up to the caps lock tool. I tried looking to see if I could do the hyper key there to another key. For instance, say if I wanted to set it up to the, the function key or, or whatever other keyboard modifying key and it didn't do any, anything for me. And the other thing I found as well is that when I was using this here with it set up with the better touch tool, it broke the things that are set up in Keysmith. So in Keysmith, I only set up so that um, if I wanted to do the hook and the capture all at the same time, so it did this one here with the uh, hyper key plus H, followed by command and C to um, copy the link, all in one go, that stopped working. Uh, I went back to using uh, Carabiner again, which was uh, my previous preferred setup. So this is Dave Allen for Good and Geeky and if this video has been of any use to you, give us a like and don't forget to subscribe. So why not share this video with your friends as well and let them know how to set up a hyperkey on their Mac. Bye bye now, talk to you again soon.